a topic application of derivative okay from application of derivative there are many chapters like rate of change of quantities increasing decreasing maxima minima tangent normal and approximation so many chapters are there among them today i'm going to discuss a chapter the name is increasing and decreasing the name is increasing and decreasing increasing and decreasing before starting this chapter first of all i would like to discuss about something about the function suppose there is any function y equals to fx okay and this function it will be either increasing or decreasing or neither increasing or not decreasing okay now we have to discuss in this chapter the topic increasing and decreasing okay now let's discuss let's suppose y equals to fx be any function okay y equals to fx be any function now again suppose the value of x is increasing the value of x is increasing then the value of y what do you think about the value of y then the value of will be then the value of y will be either increasing or decreasing or constant it means suppose there is any function y equals to fx obviously it is a defined on close interval a to b okay now the value of x is increasing then value of y what do you think then it will be either increasing or decreasing or constant okay now again i'm taking some graph about this increasing and decreasing function okay suppose the y equals to fx be any function y equals to fx be any function here you can see the value of x is increasing in each point the value of x is increasing and again you can see the value of y is also increasing the value of y is also increasing in this case obviously obviously it is a defined from a to b okay now you can see the value of x is increasing and the value of y is also increasing in this case we will say the function is strictly increasing strictly increasing okay now take another case suppose the value of y equals to fx be any function like this y equals to fx be like this here you can see the value of x is increasing in each point the value of x is what is happening with this the value of x is increasing but you can see from this point to this point what is happening the value of y is increasing you can see the value of y is increasing and from this point to this point you can see the value of y is a constant and again the value of y is increasing and the, then you will say ki if the function y equals to fx be any function and the value of x is increasing and the value of y is increasing or constant or increasing in that case we will conclude and we will say the function is increasing function this is only say increasing function or in other name is non decreasing function why non decreasing function because you can see the function is increasing and the parallel and again it is a increasing in this type of function is called increasing function okay now one more thing you can see ki if the function is strictly increasing function the value of f dash x what should be the value of f dash x okay you can say the value of f dash x will be greater than 0 sir why because when you draw the tangent at any point on this curve you will get the positive curve okay you will get a positive value the value of f dash x and here you can see the value of f dash x from this point to this point which point from this point to this point you can see the value of f dash x is greater than 0 and here the value of f dash x equal to 0 why because as you know that if a line is a parallel to the x axis then the slope will be 0 in that case the tangent the value of f dash x will be 0 and again you can see here the value of f dash x is greater than 0 it means we can say 
in conclusion ki in increasing function the value of f dx x will be greater than r equal to 0 okay and in strictly increasing function the value of f dx is greater than only greater than 0 okay now what is the difference between strictly increasing and increasing function let's check here you can see ki every strictly increasing function is a increasing okay and every increasing function it is may be strictly increasing or may not be strictly increasing it means we can say in other words ki every strictly increasing function is a increasing function but every increasing function may or may not be strictly increasing function okay students again we will discuss in brief in further now let's see ki what is the decreasing and strictly decreasing function okay again uh, i'm drawing a graph suppose from any interval a to b from any interval a to b this is obviously this is r y equals to fx b any function okay and the value of x is increasing here you can see the value of x is increasing in each point the here the value of x and again here the value of x value of x is increasing and you can see the value of y is decreasing the value of y is decreasing therefore we can say <coughs> if the value of x is increasing and the value of y is decreasing in that case the function is called strictly decreasing function this is called strictly decre decreasing function okay now take another graph suppose y equals to any function and like this here you can see what is happening with this here the value of x is increasing in each point on this graph the value of x is increasing and the value of y here you can see the value y value of y is decreasing and the value of y is a constant and y the is also decreasing therefore we will say that here it is a non increasing it means it is decreasing here we will say the function is a decreasing okay or we will say non increasing function this is called non increasing function okay therefore we can see what is the decreasing function if i discuss about the decreasing function ki what is the decreasing function in decreasing function there is two types first type is strictly decreasing second type is non increasing or decreasing only okay what is the strictly increasing sorry what is the strictly decreasing function in this function the value of x will be increasing and the value of y will be decreasing and therefore you can see the value of f dash x will be negative why because when you draw the tangent at any point on this function you will get the negative tangent okay the value of f dash x becomes negative and here the value of f dash x here you can see from this point to this point the value of f dash x will negative okay and here you can see the value of f dash x equals to 0 and here the value of f dash x is again again negative again negative okay so if uh, i conclude conclude the all the about of decreasing function so here we will write over here f dash x will be either less than zero or f dash x will equal to zero okay so it means so what is the decreasing function so decreasing function means what do you think ki sir if the value of x is increasing and the value of y is decreasing then we will say the value is uh, the function is called strictly decreasing function and if the value of x is increasing and the value of y is either decreasing or equal to zero or y equal to or equals to constant or y is decreasing okay therefore we will say all about of decreasing function but uh, the question is ki sir can we find in brief okay let's do a brief dis discussion about strictly decreasing and strictly increasing and decreasing and uh, increasing function okay now here i'm writing increasing function again from here i'm starting the increasing 
फंक्शन की वॉट इज द इंक्रीजिंग फंक्शन एंड आई हैव टू डिस्कस अबाउट दिस फंक्शन ओके फाइन ना सपोज y equals to fx be any function y equals to fx be any function and it is defined from a to b you can see it is the defined from a to b okay x is here increasing the value of x is increasing again you can say the value of y is increasing it means it is a strictly what a increasing function this is r strictly increasing function okay but uh, one more thing you can see the value of suppose this is the value x1 and this is the value r x2 okay now here you can see the value of x2 is the greater than x1 the value of x2 is the greater than x1 sir why because here you can see the value of x2 from this point to this this is our x2 and here you can see this is our x1 value okay here you can see that the value of x2 is the greater than x1 okay and also you can see the value of x1 having the function fx1 and uh, at x2 the value of function will be fx2 okay so for strictly increasing function we will write here ki if x2 is the greater than x1 and also if x2 is uh, greater than fx1 then we will see the function is strictly increasing function right okay and for increasing function so suppose i'm drawing another graph already we discuss this is our increasing function okay now here and obviously it is defined from a to b it is defined from a to b okay here you can see the value of x is a uh, increasing okay from this point the value of x is continuously increasing and the value of y is increasing and also equal to what constant or again increasing okay but suppose there is another point on the function and suppose the point is x1 and another point is x2 you can see the value of x2 is a greater than x1 the value of x2 is the greater than x1 and also you will get the value of fx2 at x2 we get fx2 okay and uh, at uh, x1 this is our fx1 at x2 we will get what fx2 okay now you can see the fx2 is a uh, greater than r equals to fx1 it will be get we will get what fx2 is equal to fx1 and suppose ki x2 is not here this is here okay in this case the fx2 will be greater than fx1 yani fx2 will greater than fx1 okay so for increasing function if x2 is a greater than x1 okay then fx2 will greater than r equals to fx1 this is our case and second case is ki abdes x will also greater than r equals to 0 so this is the true case for increasing function and for strictly increasing function fx2 is greater than fx1 and abdes x greater than zero okay now this is the all about of increasing function it means the increasing function there is two part first part is strictly increasing and the second part is increasing or increasing in uh, for increasing the second name is non non decreasing okay because non decreasing is why why the name is the non decreasing because here the function is it either it is increasing or constant again increasing okay now let's discuss about the decreasing function so suppose ki y equals to fx be any function or on any interval a to b a to b okay and again you can see the value of x is increasing the value of y is decreasing here 
you can see the value of y is decreasing okay students now take any other points x1 and x2 at x1 we will get what the value of y we will get what the value of function will be fx1 and at x2 at x2 the value of function will be what fx2 okay so for strictly decreasing this is our strictly decreasing here we can see x2 is a greater than x1 but uh, fx2 is the less than fx1 you see over here fx2 this is our fx2 only this distance is our suppose okay, fx2 only and this is our suppose uh, fx1 okay so for strictly decreasing we will say the x2 is a greater than x1 x2 will greater than x1 and also fx2 will less than fx1 okay and one more uh, cases is here ki abdes x will will negative okay and for decreasing only suppose the for decreasing the function is like this okay you can see the value of x is increasing and the value of y is what is happening with this the value of y is here you can see decreasing or constant or again decreasing okay so this is the name the name of this function is a decreasing function or non increasing function but uh, the case is here you suppose there is two point on this function and this point is x1 and another point is x2 on x1 we are getting the value of function is fx1 and uh, at uh, x2 we are getting the value of fx2 okay here you can see ki x2 is a greater than x1 but 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 i am getting ki fx2 is a greater than r equals to fx1 is it clear no this is the wrong why because here we can see ki if suppose x2 is not here it is here okay and if suppose the x2 is here then you will get what fx2 on this point fx2 will be this point okay then we will say ki for decreasing function fx2 will less than r equals to fx1 okay so overall i am getting what ki sir ki in a decreasing function in decreasing function x2 will be greater than x1 and fx2 will less than r equals to fx1 and as well as f dash x will less than r equals to 0 this is our decreasing function and this is our strictly decreasing function okay for all the conclusion we will write over here suppose for strictly increasing for strictly increasing we will find what we will find f dash x greater than 0 okay and for increasing only for increasing only f dash x will greater than r equals to 0 for strictly decreasing for strictly decreasing i am writing f dash x less than 0 and for decreasing only or non increasing f dash x will be less than r equals to 0 okay this is the all about of monotone ct or increasing decreasing function okay thank you we will meet uh, next topic